This video is about why you should hire my firm and hire me to defend you in your criminal case. Um, these are the top three reasons why. Reason number one is that I get to know my clients. We get to know our clients. Our entire staff gets to know our clients and their story. And that's not just because we're nice. That's not just because we like you and we, we want to get to know you. That's because as a non-attorney, you may not know that some piece of information that's in your head about what happened when you got arrested is actually incredibly important. And it may not be in the police reports. It may not be something that's turned over by the state. So if I didn't listen to my clients, if I didn't ask them about, okay, how did you end up getting arrested? What happened? What happened next? Tell me the whole thing. If I didn't know all of that, then I wouldn't be able to effectively advocate for my clients. Um, but I make sure that I know that every step of the way, I make sure if the DA is going to say something in court or say something when I'm negotiating with them, that's not true about what happened. If I know the story inside and out, I can, I can correct them. Otherwise, I'm depending upon the police report. And sadly, many attorneys do that. The public defenders are pretty much forced to do that because they don't have enough time. Um, but by having my client's story, sometimes I'll know about a motion to suppress I wouldn't have known about. There'll be some fact that actually can potentially win your case, um, and I know your story. Also, if I know all of the good things about you, if I know all the mitigation is what it's called, good things about you, hardship you hardships you've experienced, if something comes up in court, it's unexpected. Let's say that they add charges. They say you violated a restraining order, for example, in a domestic violence case, and they try to raise your bail. I'm not scrambling saying, hey, uh, where'd you go to school? Where are you working? You know, I'm not whispering in your ears, scrambling, like, do you have any kids you support? Do any volunteer work? I know already all of that. Maybe I'll ask you if there's anything else, but I already know all of that and I'm ready to argue and to fight on your behalf at any moment. Um, and, you know, I do have, I do remember um, a lot of these details and I know them um, like the back of my hand. I also take notes on it, um, especially sometimes cases will go on a little bit longer than we expected for whatever reason. Sometimes it's helpful to the client. Um, but I don't just have a few notes written down. That's not the same as actually knowing the client. I usually get to court and I talk to my clients for a little bit, ask them how everything's going, um, and I know this stuff really know it and that is incredibly helpful to your case and I think also to just you know your stress levels as the case progresses to have an attorney who actually knows you and you know does care about you it is very hard to get to know someone really well get to know the good things about them hardships they've experienced have them trust you and not care about them so I really do care about my clients and I I think that that helps a lot um, the second reason is that for every single case, we have a case plan that you will get. So it, many times it will start off with, okay, your court date is in three weeks. So here, you need to sign up for these classes right now. You need to start going to these classes. You need to fill out this form and give us more information about you. You need to, um, if you haven't already, usually you'll have already talked to me and given me you know, your circumstances and your story. We need to set up that, that call. If there's anything I'm missing, I need you to get letters of recommendation. And then in terms of the, the actual evidence in the case and gaining leverage, um, I need to know, okay, if you have strikes on your record, we're going to file a motion to strike those strikes. If there was evidence, like a search, that was maybe illegal, okay, then part of our plan is going to be to at least threaten to file that a, a motion to suppress. We're going to, so we'll have, and this is, these are just some examples, but we're going to have some kind of plan of like, usually we're going to show all this leverage to the DA and then say, because a motion, for example, you don't know, are you going to win or lose? Sometimes I pretty much know and I'll have video. And, um, and in that case, maybe we're just going to file a motion to get the whole thing thrown out. But um, usually I'm going to talk to the DA and try to use that leverage to see can what kind of offer can I get you? That doesn't mean pleading guilty always. Sometimes that means that, okay, you did some classes, show us proof of that, and then we'll dismiss. Um, and that always is going to be better than going to trial because you don't have the risk, the expense, the stress of trial. So if we can get it dismissed, great. Um, we want to at least see what we can get on the table for you. So you'll have a case plan about 
how we're planning to do that and then how let's say that that doesn't work um, for whatever reason what the next steps are we always have contingency plans so you're going to know about that and step by step um, we'll tell you at the beginning and we'll also update you along the way and sometimes I will change the plan a little um, depending or a lot depending upon um, what evidence we get and what happens with the case but there will be a clear plan um, you'll know if we're waiting for something what are we waiting for and all of that it, is the organization is really good in terms of getting you a great outcome. I see how other attorneys function. I know how um, other attorneys I worked with function. And this is the way to get the best possible outcome and along the way to reduce your stress level and frankly, my stress level. I want to know what the plan is. I want to create a plan and I want to follow through on it. And that is what we do. Not everyone does that. Um, number three, maybe should have been number one because I think it is actually the most important is if you hire my firm, if you hire me, you have built in leverage because I'm a trial attorney. I do a lot of videos on domestic violence cases. I take on a lot of domestic violence cases, but I handle murder cases. Um, this year alone, I have had two big cases. Um, and actually November, December, I had an, another pretty big case. Um, this year I had a huge attempted murder case and also a, a first degree murder case. Uh, the DA's office, why is that leverage? You might ask the DA's office knows that there are many criminal defense attorneys, private criminal defense attorneys who do not want to go to trial. Why? Trial is fucking exhausting. Um, I love it. It is my favorite thing to do, but it is it is exhausting. You're working 100 hours a week. I mean, you are living and breathing that case. No matter how prepared you are before you're going in, you can't, you're sitting in trial for eight hours a day, but you can't just go home and sleep. Like something happened in the trial. It's never going to be exactly what you expect. And you're going to be working on everything and honing it when you get back home. Um, and some attorneys, it, it's, it takes skill, it takes talent, and some attorneys, frankly, don't have it. Um, I think I do. I think that the DA's office knows that I have talent and also knows that I will take it to trial. If you don't give me the offer that I want for my client, if you're going to be unfair to me, and if you're going to be unfair to my client, I will take it to trial. I will, you know, maybe make you guys lose. Um, and be embarrassed and have some district attorney potentially, as I've seen recently, get demoted over it. Um, I, I will do that if you're not going to be fair to my client. Um, and that built-in leverage right there is so important. Um, I know that some attorneys say, oh, I have so much experience. I was a former DA, blah, blah, blah. Do they go to trial? How often do they go to trial? Because the DA's office, they know that. They definitely know if you work on high profile cases like I have, they know who you are. And you are much more likely to get what you want if they know who you are and they respect it. Um, so that is it. Thank you for listening. If you already have an appointment booked, um, great. If you would like to book an appointment with me, feel free to just call me. It's a free consultation um, at 213-377-6102. Um, and those case plans that I talked about, you know, I offer those during a, a free consultation. Even if I know that you're not going to be able to hire me, um, I will still give you, and obviously I won't have all the information, but I'll still give you a plan of what I think is going to be the best way to get the best result in your case. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.